Uh, this isn't specifically Macintosh related, but gosh, I love it. And I thought I'd share this with everybody. And thanks to uh, my old friend Tim Pozar, who is a radio station engineer, and Dane Jasper of Sonic.net. Both of them posted this on uh, Facebook. This is Radio Garden, radio.garden. And I don't know, did any of you as kids listen to shortwave radio or try to listen to distant stations? It's kind of like that. It's a globe. You could turn my audio up now, Karsten. I know I made some noise a little bit earlier. And as you move around, you're, 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 you're kind of tuning the dial, but tuning the dial using a, a map, a Google, I guess it's Google map of the world. And where you see green dots... That's where you can see radio stations. Click on the radio station, and you can listen to it. We're now listening to uh, Reno's Best Rock from Sparks, Nevada. <laughs> and then I can tune some more. And I don't know, where is this? Up in the mountains there. This is Ukiah, KY. Um, you can also choose Jingles, and you'll get some of the great One, classic two, 60s uh, Jingles from KHJ, Boss Radio. Roger. You can get history. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe historic. This is sound bridge between Cologne, Germany, and San Francisco, established by Bill Fontana. Probably related to the people who designed this uh, site. But I just, I see, I'm the kind of person that likes to uh, a fragment, a song that I taped off tune the around. And Jose now you can tune around the whole um, darn world. And listen to radio stations that are broadcasting, streaming over the internet. I love this. I don't know. You could play, spend hours listening to Punjabi radio. That's, by the way, that's my old radio station that I used to work at, KLOK in uh, San Jose. But, you know, here we go. We're in uh, Costa Rica. Apparently they... Like American music in Costa Rica. Radio Canahuagua in Panama. Look, love this. It's a Radio Dot Garden. And yeah, if you I want to listen to the BBC, you can, uh, you can do that. You just, of course, have to scroll on over to the UK. And there's quite a bit of BBC action. Oh, wow. I'm totally, I'm totally done with it. Isn't this fun? I, I remember there, there used to be a, 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 a regular Mac desktop app that wasn't really as nice as this. I think, that, I think Rogue Amoeba made it, maybe. But yeah. The, yeah, just the, the ability to just spin the spin the, the planet to, here is a place that's been in the news recently. I just want to, I don't even want to listen to the news in this area. I just want to listen to the music that people in this yeah. area are listening to yeah. while they're going through a problem. And, and uh, you know, I mean, some of it's quite obscure. And some of its big city stations. All of it is obviously on the internet. Uh, but nowadays, I would say every broadcast radio station has uh, an internet presence. So pick a pick a part of the world you want. Scroll on over to it and hear what they're saying in, uh, in the Ukraine. In Ukraine. In Ukraine. There's no the. the. I've, I, why, why did we ever say the Ukraine? I don't know. I grew up the same way. And someone corrected me and pointed out to me why that was not just wrong, but also offensive Insulting? to so many people. It's offensive. And it's, like, okay. and it's like, oh, goodness. I'm, uh, it's, so, it's so easy to be ignorant. And you're like, oh, yes. Yeah. We've always said but yeah, the it, Ukraine. It, it was always yeah. taught, oh, and here is the Ukraine. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Ukraine, not the Ukraine. It is Ukraine, right. That Here's Radio myself. Hobby from Poland. <laughs> I just love it. Anyway, a lot of fun. Radio dot garden, not particularly Macintosh. You could do it in any browser. It's just a browser uh, app, but uh, pretty, pretty darn cool.